That's right, my journey is complete. I have crossed the Rubicon. I have closed all the doors. I have conquered Shadow of the Nerd Tree. <laughs> That's right, I finally finished the addition, the DLC for Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. You may know me as Z the Destructor or the man you may know as Z. Either way, I am Elden Lord. I am now the Super Elden Lord, I guess. I am the Super Jumbo Elden Lord. If you don't remember, I platinumed this uh, game quite a while ago. And I'm a super double platinum now because I have conquered the Earth Tree and I'm here to give my thoughts. And one of the things that I found most fascinating is up until about two days ago, I was calling it Skadoo Tree Fragments when someone enlightened me and, f and said in Old English or something like that, it's Shadow Tree Fragments. Duh. It's spelled S-C-A-D-U. Skadoo. 23 Skadoo. Fragments. Nope, it's not that. Definitely the other thing. So I just learned that, which I thought was pretty interesting. You know, it's funny because because there's a lot of mispronunciations there in that good old Elden Ring. If you run across a gaul, you know, a G-O-A-L, it's really a jail. Uh, so there's more jails in Shadow of the Earth Tree. But let me give my thoughts, and then we're going to look at some reviews just to, just to go back. I would show you my gameplay, but I would give up all my secrets, like the discus throw, which maybe you'll find out someday if you run across. If you try to come after the gang stars, you'll see what happens. You don't ever want to end up three-on-one invading the gang stars, because we're waiting for you. <laughs> That's right. we got a discus for you. Anyway, uh, yeah, come play with us sometime. You can look for me, Z the Destructor. You'll find me on Shadow of the Earth Tree. Come invade me, bruh. I don't invade other people. Uh, but my thoughts on Shadow of the Earth Tree. When I first started the game, I was highly confused. And I was getting pummeled. Because I didn't know how to pronounce Skadoo properly. I didn't know it was Shadow. And while I find the map layout to be... Dis not distract... It's, it, it, it's hard to navigate because there's a lot of places. It really encourages exp exploration, even more so than the base game. In fact, I think they took a lot of lessons and a lot of feedback that they heard from the base game and really upgraded it and, and did a lot more with it and changed the dynamics of the game and added a lot more interesting things, changed combat, but kept the base game intact. It's really, in my mind, absolutely fantastic. And people forgot the lessons that they learned from early... Elden Ring play that they didn't remember. When you first come out into the lands between, what did you see in front of you? A giant golden knight. And that golden knight would turn you into flapjacks. He would stomp you because you would try to fight him with no weapons in your underpants and a club. And what you had to do was go get good. You had to go level up. And what I think is fascinating is not only... I mean, if they want to do more expansions, it would be very simple because they created a secondary leveling system. We have to cr capture these, you know, shadow shadow tree fragments and uh, shadow tree a ashes or something like that, which it, they level up your your summons, your mimic, and what have you. But if you if you level up, you will do fine, and then all of a sudden the damage will be on par with the normal game, and you won't have to worry about it. And they're usually in fairly easy to find places. They encourage all sorts of, um, like I said, exploration. I found very little of the game to be. I, I found some of the game to be frustrating to find where I was going, so that was a little difficult. There always wasn't a clear path to victory. But if and the lore is just as confusing as it ever is. But other than that, it's really a absolutely beautiful game. It's incredible. They they added a lot to it. And I mean, for as far as I'm concerned, it's ten out of ten. It's a win. It's a win for all. Let's check out what some other people are saying. Maybe I'll disagree with some of their points. Maybe I'll agree with them. IGN, who I usually don't agree with. Uh, they, uh, this guy says he, he gave Elden Ring 
a 10 two years ago and it really did set a new bar for everything. And there's a lot. I mean, the, the for a DLC, this thing is huge. It is way bigger that um, this guy is dumb because he says there's so many promising new builds that I couldn't help but wish lar larva larval tears were more plentiful. Guess what, bro? They knew that. They knew that. So guess what they did? When it's nighttime and you see pool moon like you see moonlight and pools of moonlight you can get larval tears there's like 25 of them chief you can get them you didn't have to worry about it i didn't like there wasn't enough duplicators there's duplicators for the remembrances and i needed more duplicators because they put so many of the weapons behind essentially a paywall not really but you have to beat the game again to get another enough duplications to get every single one of the either ashes of war or weapons that you wanted uh, so this is just, it's phenomenal. IGN gives it a 10. Good for them. Mitchell Saltzman, even though you didn't realize you could get 25 more larval tiers anytime you wanted, you still won there, Chief. Like the base game did before, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree raises the bar for single-player DLC expansions. That's your other problem. You're not playing it with your friends. I play with my friends all the time. We go together everywhere in multiplayer and we get invaded and we pummel the invaders and we enjoy it very thoroughly unless they can become crybabies and they run across a bridge and don't want to come back and fight us because they're a bunch of scaredy pants. Anyway, let's see. This is uh, GameSpot. What did GameSpot have to say? It, that's funny. Kill them with kindness. You finally get to see Mikala, my beloved Mikala, and what he did. The plot is wild. I think it's pretty interesting what they did. They expanded the lore in a whole new way, but also didn't answer any of the unknown questions from before. So maybe they use some of the stuff that you've heard from George R. R. Martin in this one. Who knows? Like I said, they use it as like a template, a base reference. Uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So well put together. So the universe is, is amazing. 10 out of 10 from GameSpot. The good, an injection of fresh gameplay opportunities through new weapons and items, arresting, beautifying, horrifying. There was some definite horror elements that they added to the game, which I thought was extremely exciting. And then if you're a pro boss like me, and you're going to know the horror section when you hit it, you just take those bridges out behind the shed and you parry them and spank them down and it's all good. I mean, they might get you a couple times, but that's why you're tarnished. You can just keep coming back to life. You don't, you do not know death. Um, an excellent addition to lore, the lore. A couple of navigational puzzle quirks that could be tricky to figure out. Yeah, if you're really going to struggle to figure out the whole game because it's like a giant puzzle in and of itself. It's very hard to figure out where to go at times. Uh, there are visual clues, but there are definitely parts where you essentially have to look at the map and go, okay. How do I get here? And then just look around till you find it. And then this is Fextra Life, who literally makes a living off of doing videos about Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. And I think this guy, it, you know, is um, scared to give the real review because, or give it a genuine review because he he's like, oh, I make money off of this on YouTube and I don't know if I want to do it. I mean, there's so much to the game. There's 95 new weapons, 10 new shields, 39 new talismans, 14 sorceries, 28 incantations, so many new ashes of war and armor sets. It's it's just absolutely incredible. They just you could go anywhere you want. They added throwing weapons and actually give them a punch. It's, it's just great. It's all around great. Is it worth forty dollars? Uh, hell yeah, it's worth forty dollars. Final thoughts, 9.6 out of 10, brilliant. Uh, 10 out of 10, baby, you can give it no less. There is no one with this kind of vision and, you know, chutzpah and just absolute gall to make something like this. There's no one today is doing anything like this, and you need to celebrate it. Get some stones, give it a 10 out of 10. Design, audio, visual, performance. I will say there were there has been a little bit of performance -y issues. Not a ton of them, but they're in there. But it still doesn't knock it down for being a 10 out of 10. Because I can accept something that's a masterpiece with flaws. 
It's absolutely brilliant. Love it. Worth the $40. You need to get it. Let me know. Have you played this? Have you invaded me? Did I spank you? Let me know all these things in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you want me to do some gameplay, I can. I hate to give away my secrets, but I will tell you it involves a lot of sitting around waiting for invaders. That's for sure. It's the easiest way to level up. I think one of my characters is 460-something now. And one of my boys, he's he's creeping up on 700, I think. He's in the sixes. So uh, we love the game. We hope you love the game. We love to talk about it. Come invade me. Come invade me, bruh. Come invade me. Bring your best. Uh, but in the meantime, catch our audio podcast. It's on iTunes usually. We also live stream it here Friday nights on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as much as we can. We'll be doing a lot of live streams, a lot of content, a lot of 10-second reviews. You have 10 seconds to catch our reviews because uh, those reviews will kill. So that's enough from me, enough from you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Love all y'all, but I am on to the next one.